Lesson 16.5b, Making and Using a Histogram. A histogram is a bar graph that shows the frequency of data with equal intervals. We learned about intervals in 16.5a, which is linked in the description. So an interval is the space between marked values on a number line or the scale of a graph. And the bars of a histogram represent the frequencies of numeric data within intervals. A frequency table lists items according to the number of times, or frequency, that the items occur. And the sum of the frequencies tell us how many data values are in the data set. We have 4 plus 5 plus 1. We know there's 10 data values. If we put them in a dot plot, we would have 10 data points. So this is how to make a histogram. We have our data set and its students' heights in inches. We put the data values in order. I put them in order from least to greatest. Now we make a frequency table by dividing the data into equal sized intervals. I chose to put the data into intervals of four on the number line. We make our frequency table and we write those intervals. We have from 54 to 57, that's one interval. We have 58 to 61, that's another interval. We have 62 to 65, that's another interval. And we have 66 to 69, that's our last interval. And using a dot plot, it's easy to see that there are three values for 54 to 57. We could also count them in our line in order. We have three here. We have one, two, three, four, five values for that interval. We have one, two, three, four, five, six values for that interval and one value for the last interval. And these frequencies are going to be our bar heights for our histogram. Now it's going to be easier to make our histogram because we have the intervals and frequency bar heights. We make our histogram from the information in the frequency table and the bars should have equal widths. Mine ended up being two inches wide each. And the bars touch without overlapping. And we label the vertical and horizontal axes. We have frequency and numbers one to seven. And we write inches down here and our intervals underneath the bars. We give it a title above, student heights in inches. And we know there are three plus five is eight plus six, that's 14, and one more is 15. We know that the student heights in inches is for 15 students. We can see what the most typical height is. It's between 62 and 65. That bar is the highest. And we can see students from 66 to 69 inches tall. There's only one that is that tall, so that's not as common. So let's compare a frequency table versus a histogram. They're similar because they both use the same intervals. And they're different because frequency tables show the frequency as a number in a column. Histograms represent the frequency of each interval by the height of the bar. So we have our frequency table and we have our histogram from the data in the frequency table. Now what would happen to our histogram if three new students joined the class that were between 62 and 65 inches tall. What would happen to this histogram? Three new students that were in this height range joined the class. It would go up in height, so we'd need a taller histogram. Then we could show a frequency of nine. If there's six now, and we had three more, our histogram would have to go up to nine or 10 because you don't want it to go right up to the bar. You don't want the top of the histogram to be touching the highest bar. You want at least one space there. And what would happen to our histogram if someone that was 53 inches or somebody that was 70 inches joined the classroom? What would happen to our histogram? Well, we would have to add another bar with another interval for that student. Now one common error is that people confuse a histogram and a bar graph. 
So to compare them, they're similar because they both have titles. They have vertical and horizontal data. They have scale labels and bars, but they're different because histograms display intervals of data below each bar showing distribution of data in order. Bar graphs show totals and can be in any order without changing the meaning of the data. So here we have a bar graph showing tree heights in feet. We've got the name of each type of tree and the tree height in feet. So we can see the elm is 40 feet tall, the maple is 50 feet tall, the linden is 20, and the willow is only 10. So it must be a new sapling. Now, we could put these tree types in any order and it wouldn't affect the data in the bar graph. We could have the elm as 40 feet over here and the willow as 10 feet over here. Doesn't affect the data, doesn't change the meaning. Now, for the histogram, we're starting from 0 to 19 feet in height and we can see that the, there's three trees that fall in that interval. For 20 to 39 feet, there's four trees that fall in that interval. So this shows a total in feet. This shows an interval of feet. The bar graph is showing data for one, two, three, four trees. The histogram is showing data for three plus four plus five plus two trees. That's 14 trees for data here, where here we only have data for four trees. Okay, we're finished with the second part of the lesson. We're moving on to the last lesson, analyzing a histogram. The next lesson is the last lesson of sixth grade math. Please join me. Bye.